Hey guys, my name is Wes Tate. Uh, today is December 1st. I don't know what day it is actually post this or you're watching it, uh, but time we're shooting this, it is December 1st, and today marks my sixth year anniversary of moving to LA, which is completely crazy. I cannot believe that that happened at all, that I've gotten to this point. Uh, yeah, I just, I have no idea. I spent so much time just trying to stay afloat and eat and pay bills and I just all of a sudden it's been six years and I can't believe that at all like I just I'm trying to think of something cool to say and I can't because like it feels like a lifetime ago that I moved here uh, I did want to show you this I have a box full I've kept all of the the cards and wedding invitations and birthday cards and gift cards that people have sent me over the years so thank you so much uh, for everyone who's been there and have been very encouraging and have helped me out um, just in little ways whether it's been sending like subway gift cards starbucks gift cards it's all been very meaningful and very helpful and i definitely couldn't have done it without the support of friends and family on average uh 10 000 people move to los angeles every single month yet uh, the mass majority of those leave within six months. So, uh, yeah, so I beat those odds, so that makes me feel really good. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I just wanted to post about that today and just let everyone know my gratitude um, for, uh, for them um, being here and supporting me. I guess I could do what I've been doing since I've been out here. Um, when I first came out here, I was able to find a roommate and I worked for four days as valet at uh, the Beverly Hills Hotel. If you don't know which hotel that is, it's the one that Shelley Wong takes the Girl Scout troop in Troop Beverly Hills. When they're supposed to have their camping uh, outing, they end up at the Beverly Hills Hotel. So I valeted there for four days, saw all kinds of celebrities, drove all kinds of cars. I had no idea what I was doing. I would, um, you have to like write the name of the car on the ticket so that whoever, you know, gets the ticket at the end of the night, they can find it, identify it. And I had seen logos on cars I had never seen before or heard of when I'd have to, have to dig around and look and I'd be like, M A, okay, Maserati. Oh, that's what a Maserati looks like. Okay, cool. And then there's others where I had no idea. I had to ask someone, uh, I'm like, hey, what kind of car is that? Like, I don't, I have no idea, no clue whatsoever. I've been a personal assistant. I've been a production assistant. Many of you know I've done background work, which is really cool. I got featured on Desperate Housewives. I've been on Teen Wolf. I don't know how many times I've been dead on there so many times and carried from one location to another location and I've been featured dead, I've been in the background dead, I've run from a monster and hid from a monster. So I'm just all up in that show in the background. So you've probably seen me do that. I started uh, acting classes at a school called Playhouse West. I started doing that um, February coming up will be three years that I've been in school there. Uh, that's been really great. I study uh, a technique called Meisner, Meisner technique. Um, and that's been really good and really helpful just with getting in touch, um, not necessarily with my emotions, but like triggers and things that I can work on. Um, it's been really helpful with just getting to the roots of what kind of makes me Wes tick and how I can bring that into different characters and parts that I'm working on. For example, if I need to be angry, I've worked through things and I know what kind of uh, things I can go to in my imagination uh, that make me less angry and then I can just do that while I'm being angry for another, another spot. Being in class has been super helpful. So if I could go back in time to when I first started out in LA, I think I would have jumped in class a lot sooner just because that's where, really where you find a, a community of people that are all trying to achieve the same thing uh, career-wise that you're wanting to do and so you can collaborate with each other you can encourage each other you can share secrets and trade tips with each other uh, I mean it's much like a community group um, involved with like a church if you're in church um, you have small groups community groups it's kind of the same thing you 
you want to center yourself with like-minded people to help encourage you and push you in the directions that you're wanting and needing to go in. Um, so that's really cool. Goals coming up for my seventh year in LA. Oh my gosh, that's just crazy to think of. Many of you know this past year I was able to um, create my very first project. It's a short film called Saturday. Hopefully I'll do some posts about that in the future. Uh, but that's been my baby. You know, we started that back in March. And uh, actually today I just submitted to five more film festivals. I submitted to Playhouse West Film Festival, which is my school. Um, it's our 20th annual film festival. So hopefully I'll get into that because that's kind of a fun milestone to be a part of. Catalina Island has a film festival submitted there. Palm Springs has a short film festival submitted that. Tribeca's film festival submitted there and the Los Angeles Film Festival. So, wow, that's 10 film festivals that I've now submitted to. Uh, I don't, uh, getting into all of them would be fantastic. But, um, you know, if I can just get into one, that would be, you know, wonderful. And if I don't get into any film festivals, that's okay. Uh, it was more so just a, uh, a personal victory for me. It's very difficult to get auditions and instead of sitting back like I have in previous years and waiting for those auditions to come, I'm trying to be very proactive about it and I have stories and ideas and an imagination that God's given me and I need to get those out and express them and share them on whatever platform that I can. So regardless if I get into any film festivals uh, at all, it's still just such a huge blessing that I was in a position uh, to even know the people that I did that came on board to help me make that. Um, for the people that donated through the Indiegogo project that we had. For my buddy Jeff who starred with me in the film uh, and he also wrote it. That's just, uh, it's just a tremendous like all-encompassing vision of uh, you know why I'm out here, what I'm trying to do, and it's very nice to see that solidified uh, in this film. So uh, yeah, so hopefully it'll get into a festival and you can come see it and you'll hear about it online or in the news, but if not, I don't care and you shouldn't either. We should all just be really happy that I've even been in a spot to, to make that film. But anyway, I, that's all I got today. So thank you so much um, for just even watching this is uh, helping support me and um, so I'm very thankful for you and um, yeah, so hopefully to many more successful years in LA.